This video is about the social engineering toolkit which you can access in your Kali Linux by entering the command sudo se toolkit and you need to agree the terms and conditions to open the se toolkit which is the social engineering toolkit as you can see this is the social engineering toolkit window when you enter se toolkit sudo se toolkit you can see this menu and we have six options here like social engineering attacks penetration testing third party modules update the social engineering toolkit and update set configuration and help credits and above so first i'm going to update the social engineering toolkit by pressing 4 so as you can see you are running kali linux and yeah it's updated so i'm going to show you some introductions to social engineering attacks in this video okay like uh, we can move press 1 which is for social engineering attacks after that you can see 10 modules like 10 menus here right which is the spear phishing attack and website attack vectors infectious media generator created payload and listener and lot lot more so here i am first showing you about qr code generator attack vector so for that i am entering 8 as you can see it's qr code attack vector will create a qr code for you with whatever url you want when you have the qr code generated select an additional attack vector as you can see enter the url you want the qr code to go like if you create a malicious url then you can include that url into this qr code so making this as qr code vector attack so you can open a browser for this demonstration i just um, open the youtube like when i open enter it and i'm just copying the url of youtube like this is the url of youtube and press enter as you can see enter the url you want the qr code bars enter like the qr code has been generated and the root so we got the location where the qr code has generated so it is in your root dot uh, which is an hidden uh, set directory and there will be reports and qr code attack.png so you can open your folder and you have to go to root right so click here and uh, you can just double click here and just right click here and you can open as root and enter your password now you are able to access the root so there is a hidden file right so you have to click view and show hidden files as you can see these are the hidden files there is dot set right and there will be reports and this is our qr code so i'm just copying this qr code and uh, i just want to paste it uh, into my like home Home Kali. So I just want to paste it here. Yeah, I'm able to paste it here, right? So now I'm just opening a browser and searching for Google Images. And in the Google Images, I do have an option here search by image. So I'm just uploading my QR. So which is here. As you can see we got a qr and we got the website right so when you click here it is redirected into that youtube website so this is how you will generate qr attacks like this is how you can generate a qr with a link in social engineering toolkit there are various attack methods in social engineering toolkit i will show you one more thing and here i'm using website attack vectors so which is two so and here i'm using credential harvester attack method which is three and here i am using site cloner okay so which is two so here you can see ip address for the post back in harvester tab enabling tab nabbing so which is this this was our los which is our log loss ip address if you are confused you can and uh, open a tab and enter the command if config to know your ip address so this one and this one are exactly the similar so i'm just copying and pasting it here so next you have to create the enter the url to clone you need a url so for this demonstration i'm using instagram's url so this is the instagram's url i'm just pasting it copying it and pasting it here so we were able to clone the instagram 
So as you can see, credential harvester is running on port 80. So you have to visit the port 80. If you want to visit port 80, then first IP address in your browser to visit the port 80. So you know that you, this is your IP address. You can search that IP address in the browser. And now we were able to visit. Like, as you can see, the contents are here. So we visited, right? So we need to enter some credentials like I am entering here as username as cyber and the password as cyber123456 and entering login. As you can see we were able to capture the request. Like you can find the username and password from these requests. Like uh, you can uh, search for uh, like control fit app and you can search for the username parameter. Yeah, 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 we found that below. Yeah, as you can see, possible username found, which is cyber, that is what we entered. And the possible password was cyber123456, which was the password that we entered right now, right? So this is the password and this is the username. So this is all about this video, guys. So never use these tricks to harm others, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day.